Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Dan back with another every AEW video. This time we're talking about every AEW unmatched collection from Jazzwares. So Series 1 had a leaked image of the back of the package, so we knew who was going to be in the wave with Kenny Omega, Darby Allin, Miro, formerly Rusev, Dr. Britt Baker, Dustin Rhodes, and a Cody Rhodes. So exciting wave. Got some renderings of the figures and what they were going to look like. Miro looking all good. Got the blonde hair and his uh, his shorts there. Best man. You got your Darby Allen with this body paint all over him. Also Dustin Rhodes in his blue costume with the body paint. And then we noticed that Britt Baker actually has a variant and so does Darby. And then the Cody Rhodes is actually an LJN toy. So that's very interesting. They're throwing those LJNs in each one of these waves. So here's the rendering of the Kenny Omega from all four angles. So you can see what the figure was supposed to look like. And then here's the actual figure revealed to us. Got those nice colorful pants and boots on. There's the package itself. Figure number one in this series one. There's the sides and the back of that package. And different angles of Kenny. He does come with two extra sets of hands. Or an extra set of hands, I should say. So, number two figure in this line is your Darby Allen. Comes with his skateboard. Got that nice painted up skull face and tree coming out of his uh, torso there. Tattoos on the arm. Painted pink fingernails. Got him a necklace on as well. Here's the actual figure. Got him his TNT Championship belt as well. There's the package. Got him a jacket that he can put on and off. Skateboard says the face of TNT. And on the bottom, Darby Allen Relentless. Sides in the back of the package. So here's your rendering of the figure. For Miro, best man. Here's the actual figure. Got the mouth wide open with the beard, the blonde hair. Camouflage shorts. Got the flags of the countries on both sides of his shorts. Comes with a microphone and two, another set of hands. Kind of wish he'd come with another head sculpt too, not just the screaming one. Back and sides of the package is figure number three. Here we go with Dr. Brett Baker rendering. She is showing off her two different figures. So she, like I said, we, she will have a variant. There's the actual figure. She's got the black gloves on. She's got that white jacket she puts on over top of it. Figure number four in the wave. And of course, she is our champion right now. Dustin Rhodes rendering. There's the actual figure. Comes with an extra set of hands and an extra head. I like that. Figure number five in the way. I do like this costume he's got on. Here's your 
Here's your rare variant of Dr. Britt Baker DMD. Got the gold jacket on this time. One in 3,000. There's a package from the sides and back. Figure number six. And then here is your Chase variant of Darby Allen. We've got the soft goods, brownish, light brownish, tannish shirt that it comes with. Skateboard does have different paint on it than the other one. It's a 1 in 5,000 edition. There's a side in the back of that package. Different angles of that figure and the skateboard. And like I said, there's that tan shirt that can't come on and off along with the jacket as well. And here comes some nostalgia with our wrestling superstars figure in the wave, LJN, Cody Rhodes. So bring back some nostalgia of those older figures that they used to have back in the day. Got the dream tattoo on his chest and the other tattoo on his neck, the newer tattoo. No articulation of these figures though. There's the packaging. Comes with a little poster as well there. Size of the package, back. Got the nightmare belt on his, his body there. And then there's a Walmart exclusive LGN figure too with the red trunks. So there's your difference in what those look like. So here is that series one loose for unmatched. And here is series one in package, all the figures. Alright, then we got Series 2 with some teases and some renderings of what it's going to look like and who all is going to be in, in it with Sting, Ty Conti, MJF, Wardlow, Santana, and Ortiz. So here's your Sting, and he is what you consider a Luminaries collection, so we'll see what that packaging looks like. You can see his big jacket and his bat with the red uh, scorpion on the back there. So here is the official image of the figure. You see he does have that bat and the nice jacket, the sting with his face on this t-shirt for the regular release. Got the face painted, hair all pulled back. Really cool looking. Here's the package showing he's figure number nine in the series. Here's the series two at the bottom. You see the front and the back of the package. All these are going to come from Ringside Collectibles, so don't have true official images yet because they got their stamp on each one of them. There you can see the back of the package as well with all the who's going to be in the wave. And it's cool that they got the signature there on the back of these packages. And there's the back of that figure with that Stinger logo on it. You can see the sides of the package on both sides. Luminary, so it's got that blue look to it there. And the sides and front of the figure here. And his jacket, hands, and bat as accessories. So really cool, we are getting a Chase Sting figure as well, one of 5,000 edition. You see the difference. It's gonna be that his shirt has a scorpion on the front instead of his face. So that's pretty cool. And there's the package with the sticker on it saying Chase, one in 5,000. This is figure number 16 in the series. Series two, Luminaries, again with the blue look on it and the different looking package uh, artwork on the back there, or image I should say. Again with the red scorpion on the back there. Here he is with his jacket off holding the bat. You can see that sting, that uh, scorpion really well. And again with his accessories. 
So I'm not 100% sure about this one. Uh, this is AEW Revolution 2021 gear, 25 points for articulation. Includes the baseball bat accessory. Supposedly going to be a Walmart exclusive. So another luminary. So this is a third version of it, maybe? Not 100% sure. You guys let me know if you have any tease about this one yet or not. So here's the Walmart version. Series 2, figure 16B, the Luminaries collection of the Sting figure. You can see his face paint there, half and half, half Darby, half Sting. Back of the package there, front of the package. A little clearer image there at the front. So yeah, Walmart. Alright, so here's the rendering of the Wardlow figure and what it'll look like. Front and back, different head sculpt, of course. All different angles, wide open mouth, closed mouth. And here's the actual figure and what it's going to look like. Got the tights on with the green lion there, whatever that is, knee pads on. It's good seeing different figures in this line. So there's the package front and back. This guy's a monster. Got the back of the figure there, showing Wardlow down the back of the suit there. Sides of the package, and this time, again, like the luminaries had blue, these have silver on them for the package. And this is figure number 12. Different angles, showing the different face sculpt and the different hands. Got his hair in a little ponytail or bun, whatever you want to call it. Alright, then we got Ty Conti. Really cool looking figure here. This is the rendering of it rendering of different head sculpts there she's going to come with and here's the actual figure and Ty Conti showing it off very excited for it so pretty cool here's the package front and back figure number 13 in the wave Different head sculpt there. Figure package from the sides. And different angles showing her figure off there. Love that get up she's got on. Alright, here's the rendering for the MJF with his big old robe on. All different angles for him. Got the MJF on the sleeves. And here's the actual figure with the robe. Got the microphone it comes with. So there's the packaging front and back. Better than you on the back of his robe there. This is figure number 14 in the wave. There's a nice shot of that robe and the hands and the microphone and he does have a bearded look on this one and you get your rare edition one of three thousand mjf figure here you got the scarf and the headband on again with the microphone because he talks so much lying on his trunks there again with the package there one of three thousand rare edition front and back of the package I do also like on these packages how it shows where the image came from which particular show Dynamite December 30 2020 in Jacksonville Florida that's pretty cool and there's that scarf and headband different hands and the microphone there you can see his trunks from the back package from the sides Figure number 15 now. And different angles of that figure. Right, here's the rendering for Santana. All different angles, two different head sculpts, multiple gloves. And here's the actual figure. Got his overalls hanging down. Got the different gloves on his hands in this picture. And he does have an extra set of hands he comes with. This is figure number 10. 
front and back of the package. Got a tattoo on his chest, mouth wide open, two different head sculpts he comes with. There's the figure from the back, packages from the sides. And you can't have Santana without Ortiz, and here's Ortiz rendering here. Different angles of that rendering, two different head sculpts, one with the tongue out. Sets of gloves there on his hands, regular hands. And here's the actual figure, got his overalls up. Got the bandana around his head, tongue out. Orange shoes. Front and back of the package, as you do see, does come with the regular hands and the gloved hands. Back of the package. Back of the figure there, side of the package. This is figure number 11 in the series 2 here. Showing the gloves off there and the different head sculpts. Here's all the figures in package from this Wave 2. You can see a good shot of the two different stings. They do have totally different images on the package as well. There's a shot of both MJFs. And there's all the figures in the wave. So there's that full wave loose. So then we had a fan fest uh, first week of September showing figures that were going to be released due to the all out pay per view. Massive reveals coming tomorrow, which was last week, of course. Stay tuned. So here is series three of the unmatched collection of what they're going to be. And we knew it was going to be the Black Order. Here's your renderings of what Darby Allen is going to look like in Series 3 in the LGM world. Some color shots of the renderings. So I haven't been told why, but for some odd reason this Darby Allen has been postponed for some reason. This LJN version. So it is not coming out with the Dark Order. I'm going to have Evil Uno. Nice mask on and the leather pants and whatnot. So here's your official image of your evil Uno from the Dark Order. With his mask on, his big old jacket on there. So here he is in package, evil Uno from all sides. You can see that these now have the upper deck logo. So that's very interesting. Back of the package. Evil Uno signature, got the hand held up there, microphone. And some more shots of that action figure from ringside. Stu Grayson. Got the two different head sculpts. The official image of Stu Grayson. Again, of the Dark Order. This entire Series 3 is the Dark Order. Got the face paint on. And the kind of skirt there, I guess. So here is Stu Grayson, figure number 18 in Series 3. With your Dark Order figures here. Back of that package. And some shots of that figure from ringside. So also in Series 3, we have Anna J. Here is her prototype image of the figure. All different sides. You can see the different angles of her. Got her purple trunks on here. Two different head sculpts. 
Got your regular release, Queen Slayer and a J of the Dark Order. So here's Anna J, figure 21, from the Black Order. Of course, she is no longer in the Black Order, or the Dark Order, sorry. Back of the package. And some shots of her from ringside. And then you have your 1 in 3000 edition version of the rare Anna J of the Dark Order. And she made the chase, one of 5,000, figure number 23 in the line. There it is from the back again. And then we got John Silver. Here's his figure, got his giant beard on again with his purple trunks. Different angles, again, two different head sculpts, that's awesome. Got the squid looking thing on his knee pad there with the eyeball in the middle. John Silver, the Dark Order. He's got his big old jacket on there. And his arms are nowhere near big enough for this man. Johnny Humvee here, figure number 20. John Silver. Teetering head sculpts. Package from the back showing off the guns. And some shots of it from ringside. So we also got Mr. Brody Lee here. TNT champion. Here's what he looks like in his rendering. And what Series 3 is all about with everybody they got. And that was what they thought the package was going to look like for Mr. Brody Lee. So hopefully that's what we'll be seeing, I guess. Dark Order on the back of his, jack his uh, shirt there. Brody Lee down his pants leg. So here's our TNT champion version of Mr. Brody Lee. May he rest in peace of the Dark Order. TNT Champion, Mr. Brody Lee, figure number 17. Some shots from ringside, holding some paperwork there, it looks like. Dark Order on the back. And here is the Chase version, 1 in 5,000 edition, Mr. Brody Lee. No belt this time. And then the 1 in 3000 rare edition, Mr. Brody Lee, figure number 22. So there is your full wave renderings minus the variants. And here's are those official images of all of them together. All of the dark order that they've made so far. There they all are loose. And thanks to WrestlingFigures.com, we do have some shots of the regular releases in package. And there is an upper deck stamp on them, so that's very interesting. Then a really sad one, really cool tribute here with a two-pack for Brody Lee and Negative One from an AEW ringside exclusive. So you see his son holding the box there for the first time. So that's pretty awesome there for negative one and his mask. And Brody Lee holding him on his shoulders. Like I said, pretty cool memorial here of Brody Lee. 1979 to 2020 was his lifespan. It is a ringside exclusive. Unmatched collection. You see on one side of the package you got negative one in his suit 
and Brody Lee above him. On the back, you got the in memory of John Hubbard and all the AEW wrestlers right there at the entrance of the ring. And on the front, you got a good shot of Brody Lee and negative one in the package. On the side, you see the TNT belt and the different sets of hands. Really cool. So here are the official images of the figures in package. There's that memorial I was talking about with all the wrestlers on stage. Holding his hand with a big white jacket on, without the jacket on. Got his hair in a ponytail, big old beard. You got negative one on his shoulders and hugging his dad. There he is with his negative one on his chest and his mask on. And there's Brody Lee with his jacket on. And with it off, with the dark order on the back. And there's the TNT belt and the different hands and the jacket that he comes with. So let's talk about series four already. So really cool. Got your Luminaries collection again with Chris Jericho or Corazon de Leon is what he was called back then. And then we have our Luminaries Chris Jericho as Corazon de Leon. So this is our second Luminaries. First one was Sting. So here's the Luminaries, figure number 24, series 4, Chris Jericho, or Corazon de Leon, in package. There's the back of the package showing that flashback to Jericho back in the day. And all the shots of him with his jacket on. And from the back and with his jacket off. We got Jade Cargill's going to be on in it. Here's our Jade Cargill. Of course, she is a champion now, so she definitely deserved to have a championship belt, but she didn't get it in this one, doesn't look like. So here is Jade and Package from all sides. Figure number 28. From the back of the package, of course, she is now our champion, so we should definitely have her championship belt in the next figure she gets. There's the figure from all sides. And comes with extra fisted hands too. Hangman Adam Page. And we got a Hangman Adam Page, who again is now a champion. So you think he would have had his belt maybe, but here he is with a beer in his hand, looks like. Here's Hangman Adam Page, figure 26. Comes with all kinds of drinking props there. There he is, back at the package. And from the back of the figure, all his accessories there. Got his little pointing action on his finger there. Cody Rhodes. We have our Cody Rhodes in his dress up clothes here and his microphone. Figure number 27, Mr. Executive Cody Rhodes. From the back. There's his accessories, holding the mic there. And from all angles. And then here's the rare one of 3000 edition of Cody Rhodes with the brown suit on instead. Back of the package. Figure and accessories from all angles. MJF again. Again with the rivalry going on right now, here's the unmatched Maxwell Jacob Friedman. MJF with his scarf. MJF, Maxwell Jacob Freeman, figure number 29, got the scarf around the neck, the microphone of course. There's those accessories. Got the ring on his finger. 
There he is from all angles. Got the beard going on this time. And then a mystery guy. Who's that mystery guy I'm going to be for Series 4? Hmm. How about CM Punk? Yes, sir. CM Punk. So CM Punk is also going to be in Series 4. But here's our CM Punk figure from Unmatched 4. The Trunks version here is a Chase variant. This will be the regular release. He does have his mic, tattoos all over him there. So here we go, our mystery figure, number 25, CM Punk. Got his jacket on this time, holding the mic. The X is on his gloves. Or tape, whatever you want to call it. There's the figure from all sides. Jacket on. And his accessories. Jack it off. And our figure number 30, the Chase, one of 5,000 edition. Jack it off. And from all angles with his accessories. So there's your roundup for that series with, four, with six figures, one of them being a luminary. Another Walmart exclusive AEW champ, Hangman Adam Page. So there's some shots front and back of the package. And showing it as a Walmart exclusive. So here is that wave loose. You can see the difference in the two CM Punks there, one shorts, one pants. Here's all the figures in package. All right, so let's talk unmatched series five. Some renders here. We have the figures and who is coming in the wave with our Sammy Guevara, Red Velvet, Sean Spears, the chairman, Darby Allen, Kenny Omega, and Brian Danielson. So let's start off with the renders here of Brian Danielson with his two different head sculpts, open mouth and closed mouth. Got his little ponytail on the closed mouth. Hair falling on the other one. That is awesome looking. There it is at one of the shows. And in package, front and back. Figure number 37. There it is, all angles. And then you got a 1 of 5,000 Chase edition here. Front and back of the package. Same face sculpts, just different color trunks and boots. Alright, we got our LJN version of Darby Allen finally coming out. This was supposed to come out in the Black Order wave and did not. There it is in hand. I think it's a black order. I think I meant dark order. There it is in package, front and back and side. And the figure front and back. All right, then we have our Kenny Omega in his street clothes. Got his glasses, mouth open. Front and back of the package. Shows he's got his AEW championship belt, his microphone, his glasses. Patchwork on the, on the pants there, holes in them. And then we got a red velvet. Showed off there. In package, front and back. And all angles of the figure. Sammy Guevara, blood and guts costume here with the Harris County Corrections Facility. Costume on there like all the others. Two head sculpts, open mouth, closed mouth. There it is, showed off on stage there, front and back of the package, and the real figure itself. Then we have the rendering of Sean Spears with the two different head sculpts, the mohawk. There he comes with the chair, and I don't think he comes with both head sculpts. Nope. 
just the chair and the hand this time. And here is the rare 1 in 3000 Sean Spears with his green costume on. See the logo there, it's figure number 40 in the Unmatched Collection. From the back there, you can see him in that costume. There he is with his chair, without the costume on or the hood on. He's got extra black glove hand. Got his mohawk. So we got our series six here of Unmatched. And series six is gonna give us Brody Lee, we think in a suit maybe. Malachi Black, possibly in a suit again. Ruby Soho, Santana and Ortiz, hopefully gonna be in their Blood and Guts costumes as well. And then you see the shadow there and that'll be our Luminaries figure for our Owen Hart. So that'll be a really cool tribute right there. You got your Ruby, Santana, Ortiz, Malachi Black. And of course our buddy, Mr. Brody Lee here in his red suit. So shown off at All Out 2022, we have our figure in hand here with the suit. Here's the red suit and a variant blue suit. Unmatched six, you got your Malachi Black, all them tattoos, the eye, all that good stuff with the mohawk. Again, showing out all out 2022. Here is your Malachi Black with his mask and jacket on. You see that extra head sculpt down at the bottom with the mohawk and the face paint. Ruby Soho, a couple different head sculpts there, mouth open, mouth closed, tongue out. Ruby Soho shown off at the All Out 2022. Extra head sculpt with the tongue out. Here's your Santana. Again with those inmate jumpsuits on there. Face paint white. Santana shown off here. Rikers Island inmate attire with the face paint. And then your Ortiz. Series 6 unmatched. Ortiz with his Rikers Island inmate gear on, face paint. And also we had a Luminaries version, a couple of them, of Owen Hart. Commemorating him. There he is with his couple face sculpts there, red trunks here. Owen Hart with his red trunks here shown off. Extra head sculpt. And with his variant blue tights on. Then we have a King of Hearts version here as well with his belt. This is the black or gray trunk version here. Got the bandana, sunglasses, two different head sculpts. And here's that King of Hearts Luminaries black costume. Soft goods jacket, Owen Hart. With his belt. So Series 7 Unmatched had a preview of who we were going to have it before, but let's check out some prototypes. So here is your Hook Series 7 Unmatched figure with two different head sculpts, hair going all crazy. You got your Ray Phoenix. Of course, without Ray, you can't have Penta L0M. Pac, I love this Pac figure with his blindfold and his patch. That is awesome. You got your Thunder Rosa. Congrats for being the champion right now. Here's your Series 7 Unmatched Thunder Rosa. And we got an LJN version of CM Punk we'll be getting. Alright, so here's your reveal for Series 8 of Unmatched with the Malachi Black. Abaddon, Alex Reynolds, Arn Anderson. Buddy Matthews and Brody King. And this lineup has now changed. We are not getting Alex Reynolds or Arn Anderson in this line. We are replacing that with Pinto Oscura, Adam Page, and a Luminaries version of CM Punk. 
So yeah, this will be a nice little House of Black Wave. Malachi, Buddy Matthews, and Brody King with their mask on. That'll be awesome. So here's your luminaries at CM Punk with the long hair, old school. Abaddon, extra head sculpt. Malachi Black, he does not have his head sculpt, his um, mask on, doesn't look like he's just suited. Brody King with his mask. Buddy Matthews with his mask and the extra gear on him. Hangman Adam Page with a vest on. And then Penta Oscura showing him from the back and showing his masks. So yeah, Brody King forever, one of 1,000, exclusive. Got the TNT belt, John Hubbard Legacy Foundation. I love that they're giving him so many figures nowadays. All right, so what do we have revealed at the FanFest September 3rd for the All Out pay-per-view from Jazzware? I've already shown you a few of those pictures. Here's some more. Did a little video there showing all the images that we got, but here we go with just the unmatched. So for unmatched series nine, we're gonna be getting the Kenny Omega, Kyle O'Reilly, the Young Bucks, with Nick and Matt Jackson, Adam Cole, Britt Baker, and Brandon Cutler. So that is our elite team here. A pretty cool series nine with the elite unmatched 10 you can see here we are now finally getting the Alex Reynolds to finish up or to help out with finishing the Dark Order and then the rest of this wave and we saw actually back in the day uh, Alex Reynolds was going to be in there with Arn Anderson so they pushed him way back uh, we see here in unmatched 10 that we got the Blackpool Combat Club with William Regal Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta, and Claudio Castanoli. And then also you have our new champion, or interim champion, Tony Storm here. So yeah, what a great wave. And there's your Alex Reynolds prototype figure. Got two different head sculpts. Got the Dark Order hand there holding it up. And then they revealed a Walmart exclusive Wardlow figure, early prototype for the unmatched collection. All right, as wish list and most wanted list for the AEW Jazzwear figures, I'd love to see Billy Gunn and the Gun Club with Colton and Austin. Of course, I know Billy Gunn is now rolled over with the acclaimed scissoring baby but yeah they definitely need to have some figures done uh, angelo parker and daniel garcia and matt Min mindard with the jericho appreciation society you got your press 10 vance for the dark order definitely need to see him nick camarado and Q qt marshall jay lethal you got your athena serena deeb william morrissey definitely renee young has now joined AEW. Tony Storm and Soraya. Those are definitely some needed figures now for AEW. And also with Paul White 
and Mark Henry, I think they need some love. And then some old guys that never got the loving was Bobby Fish for the Elite, Awesome Kong, Marco Stunt, and SoCal Christopher Daniels. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.